Hello everyone, it's Francis with your Book of Memories. Thank you everyone so much for stopping by. I have another project I'd like to share with you. This one is using the 8x8 Baby Girl Album design, okay? And of course, this is another take on it, and you can use any paper it is that you wish. I did a couple different things on this one, and after we go through this book, I will be playing a tutorial trailer so you can kind of get the idea of my teaching style, what my tutorials look like, and how the book starts to progress and how much fun we have, okay? And you will notice that my background is different because it's, uh, it's an older video, but it's still a fantastic tutorial that you can learn a lot from. I will leave the link to the tutorial website down below. Again, 8x8 Baby Girl album. You'll notice that it's uh, the Echo Park Bundle of Joy paper that I used, but the one that I used for this book is Echo Park, Hello Baby, It's a Boy. Fantastic, we've got 3x4, 4x4, 4x6 landscape and horizontal cut apart pages. And then we have a cardstock sticker sheet 12x12. 12 12. This paper is fantastic. I made this for my cousin, Jessica. Love you all so much, thank you. Right here on the front cover, we've got this awesome frame. You'll notice I did some paint splatter on here. This little guy comes out of there and you can put some pictures inside there. And of course, this is that plastic on the front, which I love. I'm just totally, yeah, I'm, I'm becoming addicted. So that whole aspect right there is just bingo. <laughs> okay. Love the polka dot paper and the plaid for the spine. I've got a little bit of yarn, some twine right here. I wanted to keep it simple because it's for a boy. <laughs> I thought that was a cute little addition. And then the sleepy time paper right there. Love it. So when you open it up, Right here on the front inside cover, we've got this pouch and I made my own little twist tie right there. And then right inside here, it's a slight expansion and there's some stuff in here. I just made like little photo mat spots. And there's the magic trick right there. <laughs> And then all these could just go right back inside here. And as you know, it has a little hidden flap right there. And there's enough space to go from month one all the way to the first year. So this could be the first year of the baby. Oh my goodness, look at this cute little stickers. Magnetic closure right there. Right here we have an awesome fold out photo mat right here. This is a popped up dimensional thing which has a pocket as well. Okay, so that's another little feature of this book. Oh my goodness, it was so fun. I went along with this matte gel pen, so that was really fun. This opens right up like this. And then this is a little pull tab, and I've got my We Are Memory Keepers little scallop edge punch right there. And this opens up and we've got some space on the inside. So this is a cute little photo spot, another sticker. I fussy cut that little banner out and I stuck some stuff in the pocket. Again, you're gonna notice paint splatter, <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I just thought it added kind of a cool element to this because I wanted to do something different. You all know me. I, I don't like to repeat the same thing over and over. So, and there I went and some have journaling lines on them and some do not these photo mat spaces. I kind of wanted to keep a variance of different types of styles. So now that just magnetizes clothes. And then we've got our first insert right here. Again, some more of that paint splatter. Okay. Cute little Fox. You flip it over. These hold front and back five by seven photos perfectly no cropping necessary. Okay, fantastic. And right here on page two, we've got this little side pocket. Again, super cute scallop right there. Popped up photo mat with, again, a cool little tuck spot back there. Fantastic, and look what we have in here. I love that little fox hopping around. Page three just has a simple, look at this, just simple pocket. I love that wood grain, I just thought, you know what, I don't really mat right next to each other with two designs like that, but I just wanted to try it out and I really like it. It's all on how you stick these photo mats in here to break up the colors, to pop things back on other sides of the paper. So that's, that's the beauty of this. Look at those cute little shoes. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Fantastic little photo spot right there. This is a little trifold card. And again, I have a cute little guy right there. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Journaling space, photo space, you name it. And then this opens up again. Cute little pocket, and then we've got some photo mat space in there. 
I love this cute little guy right there. My goodness, these are hidden flaps and stuff, so I show you how to do that. And it's just been so much fun to make this book. I'm just, I'm thrilled. This is another photo mat. This one opens to the side. Cute little popped up banner right here. And these are all popped up photo mats with those hidden little tuck spots in the back. Also, the tutorial trailer will be playing after this. Again, it uses different paper, but this is, you can use any paper that you want on this book. The base design tutorial is down below. This holds at least 100 photos, this book. Cute journaling spaces right there. Love it, popped up photo mat. Again, secret tuck spot back there. Beautiful little twisty tie right here with a brad closure. Again, we've got journaling space in here and photos. And you guessed it, there it is. <laughs> Beautiful photo spot, a couple more tags, some cute little things I fussy cut out. Isn't that adorable? I love the sloth. And now we are here on the last page. Beautiful little tuck spot in the back again with the photo mat. This is brilliant. Absolutely love that Echo Park Wedding Bliss little clear stamp right here. That's what that one is. And then again, we've got this pull tab on the side and it reveals this. So we've got some stuff in here. Beautiful, another photo spot right there. I'm just in love. And then on the back inside cover is just a simple pocket. I stuck a couple little stickers right there. Beautiful little places for journaling. Got more of that paint splatter. <laughs> I just, I'm in love. I'm truly in love with this paper. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I really thought that those journaling lines really made the paper yell. And I just had a blast making it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Stay tuned for the tutorial trailer. I will be so pleased to see you over in the tutorial. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Frances from Your Book of Memories. Welcome to the 8x8 Baby Girl Album Tutorial. Okay, so the basic tools will definitely be a scoreboard. I love the Martha Stewart scoreboard and the Fiskars paper trimmer. You'll see me using this all the time. I use it to cut my chipboard and my paper. And a super cute paper collection. I will be using two packs of the Bundle of Joy New Edition baby girl. Some solid white cardstock because I love how it pops off the craft cardstock. It's so super cute. So for some optional things, I will be using an EK Success Scallop Scallop Edge Punch, okay? A glue gun, some glue sticks, probably to adhere embellishments and stuff. All right, so it's cover building time. Let's get out our paper trimmers and our worn down blade. Now we need our chipboard as well. What I like to do first is take off the rounded corners, okay? So that's a quarter inch in. I'm going to line it up on this side. I'm simply just going to put these on top of each other. I like to start at the bottom, line it up, get your bone folders or whatever burnishing tool you like to use, and I'm going to press on that pretty good. Three to four pieces of your chipboard that you're using. Okay, so I'm going to stack these up. You can use these as a guide, those pieces that we took off. Same thing here. Okay, and over here. Up to you, directly on the line or a little bit to the right of the line, okay, if you're cutting with your right hand. Check this out, just for safety reasons, and then we're going to skip that line and pinch this one in the middle, okay? And then we're going to come back with this side of our bone folder and kind of just press that paper in between just like we did before. This piece measures seven and one eighth by four and a half. Okay, so since this is page five, I'm gonna go ahead and make a circle, number five. We're gonna line up three and a quarter inches along the top, okay? We're gonna score it half an inch. And also five eighths of an inch. And I like to stand it up and fold it on itself, pre-fold with my fingers, okay? And I come back with my bone folder. And I start center up, center down, half inch flaps that need it. Here's page one. Here's the inside flat pocket. 
And then we're gonna align the score mark closest to the half inch flat with the base page. Top and bottom, same length, okay? And also glue your piece on top right here. That way once we open this, it's matted on the inside too. So we're also gonna need to mat the back of this flap, which is five and a half by four and a half. I'm gonna go down, but I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm only gonna cover the adhesive with the edge of my page. I'm holding over here with my thumb, coming around, pinching that, basically making like a little score mark. 